hello everyone welcome back again to my channel today i will talk about some different topic that is arduino's internal square form and how to use it in our project first we should know about arduino memory architecture the e square form and its necessity and the real time application of e square form so let's get started Arduino has three memory bands. One is flash memory, second one is SRAM, and the third one is E square from. Flash memory is where the Arduino sketch is stored. Whatever we write in the Arduino is stored in the flash memory, and it is non-volatile in nature that means the information stored here can persist after the power is turned off the size of flash memory or arduino you know is 32 kilobytes let's talk about sram sram is static random access memory it is the memory where sketch creates and manipulates variables when it runs. SRAM is volatile and will be lost when the power is cycled. This, the size of SRAM or Arduino you know is 2, 2 kilobytes. Talk about e square form. It is a memory space that programmers can use to store long term information. E square from memory is also a non volatile in nature. It has the size of 1 kilobyte. Since it has very less capacity, it is used to store very less but important information. Now talk about the necessity of E square from. For an example, suppose we have one overhead water tank monitoring system where the water pump will automatically start feeding the water into the tank when it detects very low water level and it will off the water pump when the water tends to overflow the tank in the other system while pumping the water into the tank let the electric power goes off the tank is partially free now when the power will come back the pump should restart and fill the tank but as per the program logic the water level is not below the lower level hence the pump will not start automatically here the use of e square pump comes handy we can store the status of pump whether it was on or off in the e square prom before the power cord. Since it is a non volatile memory, the pump status will be intact after the power cord. And when the power comes back, we can extract the status from there and accordingly can turn on or off the pump. Now let's see how we can store data inside Arduino's e square prom. Before dealing with e square prom, we should know about its lifetime. e square prom is specified to handle 100,000 read erase cycles. This means you can write and then erase or rewrite data 100,000 times before the e square prom will become unstable. At Mega 328P microcontroller has an E-square PROM of 1 kb storage capacity. Having 1023 locations or cells. Each cell can store 1 byte data. Hence, each cell can store data of decimal number up to 255. If we want to store 256, 
in a cell it will be stored as zero to deal with ordinary e square form we have to include e square form dot s error file in our code this e square form dot s error file has three main functions these are e square form dot write e square form dot read and e square form dot update SquareProm.Write allows us to write data in a particular address. So this function takes two arguments. One is address and the second one is data. The range of address is from 0 to 1023 and the range of data is from 0 to 255. SquareProm not read function allows to read or fetch data from a particular address or memory location. So it takes only one argument that is the address. Then come and talk about e square from dot update. It is similar to e square from dot write which takes two arguments address and data but before writing the data into the e square form it first reads the data reads the address and compares the stored data with the unstored data if these two data didn't match then then only it stores the new data into the location in this way, it helps to increase the life cycle of e square prom. Now, come over to Arduino sketch and we can simulate there the practical overhead water tank system. Okay, welcome to the Arduino sketch here. We have included the e square prom data as the library and I have defined two data. I have used Q13 as output where when the is connected in the Arduino port it's a to indicate motor is on and off. I have used serial communication with port rate of 9600. First in setup I am reading the data at the address of 5 of the square form and it is stored in the variable D which is desert type. I will explain these functions later on. Go to the below first. Here we don't have a practical tank system, so we have to simulate the water level from the tank system. So in the practical system, in the practical tank, water tank, we have one controller that is audio and one sensor which detects the level of water whether the water is um, touching the upper level or going below the lower level. As per the detection, it sends a signal to turn to the controller to turn on and off the pump. To simulate that, we have used the serial communication port. I am giving the character L which states that the water level is going below the lower level and turn on the pump and I am using the character F to indicate the controller water is touching the high level upper level and turn off the pump. <coughs> so this function continuously monitors the serial data. When the data is updated, it is stored in a variable data. And this data is compared to the letter L. If it is L, capital L, then it means the water level is below the lower level of water tank. So it returns on the pin 30 which is connected to the pump. And at the same time, it is write 
in the this platform cell 5 data 1 <coughs> and when it is when it receives the data f it turns off the form and write in the cell 5 the field suppose first l is received means water is below the low level and the water tap <coughs> and form one high and it writes this one one in location 5 after after running the form for some many units suppose the power cuts off but when the power comes again the water is much higher than the low level so the water level is not below the low level so automatically the controller cannot turn on the pump so when the power comes again the controller will tap and it executes the program from here now this sets of program comes handy it reads the location 5 <coughs> and save the data in the variable D and this data is compared to G <coughs> means in the status of the form before the power cuts off if it is 0 means, means <coughs> before the power cut form water off so it will off the motor and if the data read from the location 5 is 1 it means before the power cord pump was on and it reads up again the pump <coughs> and when the power touches again to the high level and it automatically turns off the water level it turns off the pump Let's simulate it first. <coughs> Let's check out our Arduino communication port. That is Arduino Uno and the COM port is COM4. Now come over to the serial monitor. You see it detects data in each square from location 5 to 0 and water level is high and pump is off. So I am giving here the character A means water level is below the lower level. So as soon as it detects the character L means water is below the lower level, it should turn on the pump. Let's see what happens. Yes, it is displays message the data entered in capital A means data detected. The sensor detects low level of the water and the water level is low, form is on. You can see there in the Arduino in number 13 where the LOL recall is connected is turned on. Suppose now now the water is on, pump is on and the water is filling into tap. We should turn we should <coughs> close the communication port and disconnect the Arduino which replaces the core power cord. <coughs> you can listen the sound also. Now when we put again the Arduino cable into the USB port, the pin number 30 should be in on state, should be in on state. Let's see again. I am inserting the Arduino cable into the USB port again. Now you can see there the LED connected to pin 13 is off. Means our previous state was on and when the power comes again the LED is on. Now in the serial communication port we should write here 
in the data in square form you can in the cv form for communication you can see here the data in square form is one water level is two and top is one then the water level touches the higher level so we should write capital f as the character and if i enter the capital f it detects the higher level of water and it should turn off the LED eventually form. Let's see what happens. Ah, yes, it says that I enter this capital A, water level is high and form is off. You can see in the hardware also the LED goes off. That's all for today. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.